nice beautiful sunny day a little bit of a breeze but not too bad so I'm going to take the opportunity to duck into these nucleus hives and have a look and see how they're getting on this is the first hive here Use a knife because I can't find my bloody hive tool. Seeing a bit of pollen and nectar there. Capped honey. Building another queen cell. Alright, I'm happy. Just down around this area here. I can see eggs in there. So the queen has mated and laying. These are those queen cells. You see they've been torn down. We've got lava in this area here. There's my queen. So I'm really happy with this nuke. This is my second split that I've ever done. First one was a disastrous failure. Now I've managed to get bees to rear their own queen. This is my second new hive. When I split these frames off, I didn't worry about looking for the queen. I just grabbed three frames of brood bees and all from one hive. And I got two frames from another hive and shook the bees off, put them all in here together. So I may already have a queen. They've been in here for about two weeks, so I'm hoping the queen stayed behind in the other hive and that these ones have read their own queen. Let's have a look. Now a mistake I made with this I 
mistake I made with this new Kive is that because it's only 180 millimetres internal measurements, it's a fairly tight fit for these frames. I'll put five in, I really should have stuck with four. I was just getting greedy, so everything's a tight fit. So you can see the brood's all hatched out. This frame's fairly light as well, so not expecting to see any brood. Oh, there's a little bit there. Still to come out. Oh, just in this area here, I can see young larva and eggs. So I've got a, well, the bugger me, there she is there. There's a queen there. So I so say when I did the split, I've captured the queen. So I'm going to close these girls back up and I'll head over to the other hive where I took these frames from and I'll see what I can find over there.